Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Fallout 4 with me, Lathrix, and of course, a welcome back to Sanctuary. In today's episode, as the title may suggest, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be going out of our comfort zone of Sanctuary, going away from the main quest line, and we are going to try and hunt down a couple. Of course, yes indeed, the fusion cores, which we so desperately need. Now, to start off with, I actually know where one is, because I actually saw it whilst doing some editing. It turns out I walked straight past one over at Super Duper Mart. So we're going to go straight there, see if we can find the core again. I think it's in a room at the back, and then we're going to explore the area around us. I've been told by someone, and sadly this was unavoidable, I just read it, and I was like, damn, that, that somewhere near Red Rocket there's also a core, and then somewhere else in the starting area there are more cores to be found. Essentially, you can find them, I've just been absolutely oblivious. So let's go out and let's see how many we can find. After I get bored of doing this, which I will fairly quickly, we're going to go ahead and do one of the side missions, as I feel like my completionist side is yelling at me as I've got, I've got all of these side missions, and yet... I'm getting more and more continuing with the main storyline. So let's go off the rails a bit today and get everything else done. It's been a lovely hunt so far, so I managed to get around about 20 worth of oil as soon as I walked in. A huge amount of Mr. Handy oil just kind of sitting there, so that was absolutely lovely. And now we have some Molotov cocktails. Yes, please. Along with some Radex and a thing I'm going to leave there because we don't need any more ceramics, seriously. Isn't it just beautiful? Okay, so we have the fusion core. It turns out it was right here in that slot. So this is what a generator looks like. So from now on, this is what we'll, we will be looking for above all else. And with that, I have now pretty much checked every single room once again. And we have found loads. Molotov cocktails, we have some more ammo. Ooh, we found a safe. Locks really strong. Which I can't unlock. We have some chalk which I don't know what that can be scrapped into, but we'll take it anyway. We have loads of stuff, basically, so we'll go ahead and go back to Sanctuary, as now I want to find out about the satellite station near our base. It's somewhere, I can't remember where now, between our base and the farm location, which is just to the east. But, before we go ahead and check out the satellite station, let's see if the rumours of a fusion core being somewhere nearby the station are actually true. So, from what I've seen, it's either in a cave, or in some kind of scrap heap, and... Okay, I'm guessing this is it, guys. What do we have here? Coffee pot... Oop! more gas, that's fantastic. So much oil! And I literally just ran out of oil as well since I've been doing a lot of um, weapon modifications as I got the science perk at last, so now all my weapon is a lot better. Ooh, it's a mole rat den. Well, we're going in then. So I assume we're going to be attacked by all sorts of vicious little beasties, but hopefully we can defeat them easily and get ourselves a core. And some more brain fungus, which is surprisingly good food on a side note. Yeah. Can't say anything just yet. Well, look, guys, I saw something. Boom. Okay, shouldn't have reloaded then. Should have expected more to come out, but for some reason I didn't. I could fire a Molotov, but I don't think I want to. Hello! Oh, I've upgraded this gun so much, and I feel like this is an area you could probably go to straight away. Now, will this explode? No, it won't. Red, however, normally does mean it will explode. See previous statement. Also, sorry, dog. We have coolant. No idea what that turns into. We have all sorts of stuff from the mole rat. We'll just take it. Bottle caps on the mole rat. Not, not going to complain. A little bit confused, but won't complain. Metal buckets. More fungus. At least it's worth a little bit, I guess. And what else do we have here? Glowing fungus, which apparently you can farm. Okay, another thing which is going to explode, so let's just knock that out before we accidentally trigger it later. Oh! Next time be more careful. Lesson learned. That was weird. That was definitely not the normal colour. Hello! Glowing mole rat. Oh, we saw one of you earlier. 
Goodbye. More irradiated blood, which is actually worth a small fortune. And we have a scythe. Hello. What's in here, then? Please be the fusion core. We need three to enter Vault 81, and after that, they're all mine. I'm okay with that. I'm, over I'm very okay with that. Actually, I'm very okay with everything I just got given. Which I normally am, to be honest. And in here we have more duct tape, which is fine. Ad adhesive is always something we're going to need. Adhesive and oil, actually. Always seems to be the thing I'm running out of. Good news and bad news. We found the core, but it's being, well, secured by a nice radioactive thing. Let's grab that and run away. Okay, there we are. We now have the fusion core, so now we have two out of three. Also, I'll be taking those as well. Oh, I thought it was a body bag. That was a little bit more creepier for a second. So much brain fungus. So much lovely food to eat. Well, I'll finish off scrapping here. And then we'll head towards wherever the hell the little satellite place is. It must be up here somewhere. It's, I think it might be here. But I'm just going to go straight from the red rocket just to make sure I can find everything. And I'll give one last little scout around here before we go. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Best find ever. Lipton now has an adorable little green bandana from the less adorable attack dog that just randomly, well, believe it or not, attacked us. So just south of Sanctuary, and there's a whole bunch of raider corpses and loot chests. It's been a little bit odd. We also apparently have this. What on earth is that for? Why do I feel like I've just done something really, really stupid? Probably because most things I do are really, really stupid. Was that pumping water? I'm going to assume it was. To this thing. Oh, yes please. Well, that was curious. And continues to be very, very curious. Yeah, I, I could see my hidden bar going a bit mad then. So, yeah, we do have a target just over there. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Don't move, and you'll be fine. I'm invisible. Never mind, not invisible. Hello! Well, that was a little bit gory. Welcome to Sanctuary, everyone. I'm guessing these people are here to be attacked a little bit earlier, because, well, that wasn't exactly much of a challenge now, was it? Bit of narcotics, a few grenades, everything you could possibly want. Also, a lot of stuff to scrap. Okay, we'll grab all this stuff. Oh, look, there's the, the dish I was talking about. Okay, so we'll grab all this stuff, then we'll go over there. I've got a feeling that's going to be locked, because it seems like a quest location, but we'll find out soon. Of course, it's guarded by riders. We can't just do a nice bit of scrapping now, can we? I think that's the entrance, though. It looks like the gate's been severed, so that's the way we're going to go. And you're the one who's about to see me, so let's try and get a few shots in. Beautiful. It is quite nice going back to lower level areas. Okay, so what's in here then? Is there a way into the building or are we just going to be on the outside? Oh, hello. There we are. Okay, there's a way in. But let's loot this guy first. Or gal, in this case. Hello, what do we have here? We have a workbench. Not much good if nothing in there. Lockers, all the usual gubbins. Dirty water, flip lighter, some jet. I do like how they're essentially making it out of um, inhalers. That's kind of awesome in a really, really sad kind of way. Okay, well, let's have a look out here first. Then we'll go. Then we'll go inside. And down we go into the bowels of the building. Here's hoping we'll actually find something useful. It won't just be a waste of time. Okay, then. Well, that was nice. Some fiber optics for our trouble. 
So with that there then, it's, it, it can be safely assumed, I'm going to guess, there's going to be traps freaking everywhere. Be very, very careful. What the? Nothing. You're going insane. Really insane. Ignore the shots that are missing you. I should just done a crit. I should have just accepted the loss there of, of my ammo and got the crit in, rather than hoping the next shot would hit. Uh, anything else here? Not too much. Ooh, is that, does that terminal work? Yes, it does. Can't break the code. Ah, darn it. Requires terminal. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh. That's a- Oh, but you're not mutated or anything. Oh, that's really sad. I'm sorry. I'm, I really am sorry. You! It's your fault. Definitely someone nearby. And we have a chem box. Very, very nice indeed. Got it. Medex and Psycho. Very nice. And we have... Okay, I'll be checking all that stuff later, and I will be definitely getting that duct tape. The spanner, however, on the thing will be left. Okay, so we have a terminal over there. We have a metal box. We have another room to, to explore, and yet another room as well. Well, even if we don't find what we're looking for, we have definitely found a lot of good stuff so far. That's a generator, isn't it? That is a generator, okay. I was exp There's no cables on it. Let's just take it and pretend I saw it straight away. I didn't miss the generator, that would be stupid. Ooh, yes, that is fantastic. So much stuff. And ooh, different terminal. This time it's not... It's not needed to be hacked. Ooh, hello. Oh, just all offline. Oh, I was hoping maybe we could open the door from upstairs from here. Okay, never mind. Back to being all sneaky like. I'll take that because I need the gears. Aww. It's adorable. Okay. Uh, I'm carrying too much. Dougie, would you like a teddy bear? Oh, you, of, of course you actually have nothing with you anymore, do you? Because I've s kind of sold it all. Uh, there we are. You can have that. And you can have some other stuff as well. Oh, you're not being serious. You can even equip the sodding welding goggles. Well, okay then. Back to giving you other stuff, though. Okay, that was adorable as well. The dog is being pampered today, it seems. Oh, look at those goggles, Lipton. You look dapper, sir. Dapper as anything. Here's Johnny. Ooh, there is someone. Hello. Was someone. Stay. Don't actually know where the dog is. Stay regardless where you are. Oh, there's at least three people. You're going insane. This is nothing. A really painful nothing. Hello, sweetie. Oh, hello. Hello, sweetie's friend. Now you can go and do something, doggy. Today has been a good day, honestly, all things considered. I thought that was a bomb that just dropped on me then, like a trap. So we've got a uh, turpentine, I'll take that, because it has it. I think that's either antiseptic or something else when you scrap it. Take the minigun, which means you should have ammo for it. Excellent. Oh, wow, loads of stuff. So much stuff to scrap. Yes! Uh, dog, I need you to hold stuff again. 
So what's behind door number three? One of those. Oh! More than this one. Sick him, dog! Whoa, look how big that one is. Oh! Well, I'll probably kill them. Okay, dog. Good. We should wait for a second, I feel. There's got to be oil or something in here. Oh, hello. Ah! Oh! Pff. For you a ghoul. Wonder glue. Ooh, Intel room key. Thank you. That's something at least. So it turns out you didn't only need the terminal, the key itself also worked. Mini nuke. Well, that's worth a small fortune. I wonder if there is actually a quest of here. I still feel like there is. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Actually, no. I'm not sure, am I? It just seems like just a, such a good area for it. Oh, wow. Yes to everything. Okay. I'm actually going to Google it. Yeah, I'm going to Google to see if this is ever a place for a mission, because I feel like I may have ruined something for myself here by actually um, coming here out of sequence. Well, although not my intention, we have found out something a little bit interesting. Apparently somewhere nearby, there are mole rats. Oh my god, that one has a bomb! The... there? There? Well, it turns out I've hit the invisible barrier of the world, but sadly still no vertebird. That's really odd to just have a invisible wall there. So it turns out I was a little bit mistaken. It isn't a fusion core, it's actually just the power suit. So what I'm going to do is strip this for parts. I have no idea what these actually give if you scrap them, but still, I'm sure it's either a huge amount of steel, or perhaps steel and something a little bit more interesting. It's kind of a shame just to leave this here, since this is actually technically still functional power armor, but... Yep, there's no need for it now, considering we have all of our stuff back at base. So what I'm going to do is go back, scrap everything we've got, and then we'll head on back over to the vault and trade them our three power cores. So you're back. I take it you got what Overseer meant? Yes, I did. Obviously. Why else would I be here? All right, smartass. I'm opening the door. Overseer McNamara and myself will meet you at the entrance. Oh, and behave yourself. You start any trouble, we'll toss your ass right back outside. Unless I kill you, of course. Not that I would do that. Welcome to Vault 81! Ooh. Did my dog just run in there? My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. Another outsider. Everyone's what working they let hard you right in now. For. You think I don't know that? Just wow. do the best with what you can. What's with the attitude? I don't trust outsiders. We didn't need your help before. You we don't need it know. now. The Overseer on. never should have opened up the vault to your kind. To my kind. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Well, a lovely welcome. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. It's lovely. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the Overseers before me, but some here would disagree. 
A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Well, to be perfectly honest, without doing that, you're going to starve to death. No, no, probably not starve to death. You can probably get your own food, but clearly you need things like fusion cores and such. So, what are you meant to do? Just keep yourself closed in until eventually you run out of every other resource. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Uh -huh. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now? He and or she better. Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. Of course you don't. Well, let's have a look-see around Vault 81 then. First of all, let's talk to the annoying woman. Hey. Seriously? I don't want to talk. I promise I totally won't save the game, kill her, and then load the game again. Whoops. Ugh. You know, finger slipped. I must have just had a really bad dream. Okay, who are you? Hi. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. No. It's pretty dangerous. You wouldn't last a day. Yeah, that's the fear. At least with the way the Overseer has us working, 81 will still be around for a while. Screw work. You know what? Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. And you guys are maintaining the vault, right? Trying to, at least. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you. And I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Well, that was a very insightful conversation. Okay, taking anything is stealing in this place, and that requires a terminal. So let's be a goody goody two shoes for at least a little while. No signs of radiation. Impressive. Um, actually, I am a little bit radio. <laughs> I, I am actually suffering from radiation poisoning. Poor Aaron. Her cat got loose in the Commonwealth. Ah, oh, poor Aaron. Come, on, come, on, Lipton. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash. Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Wait, but you just said the cat was already at the Commonwealth. Did literally time just warp a little bit there? Anyway, hello! Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. I always wanted a pip boy upgrade. Actually, no, speaking of pip boy upgrade, speaking of that, uh, it wouldn't be in gameplay, would it? No, it'd be in display. I wanted to do this a while back, and I keep on forgetting, so while we're doing it, I want mine to be blue, honestly. I don't like green. It's a bit harder to see, though. There you go, a much lighter blue. Yeah, more of like a cyan kind of colour. That's fine. So does that affect my actual... Well, it affects some of it, at least. Okay. Good enough. We got Ooh, a my health bar. If you need it. Not saying you do. Okay, well, you're pretty nice. A nice person at last. Oh, does everything here make noises? I don't like you. Stuff to steal. Yeah, if I want to... Ooh, restored desk fan. Hey. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. So, yes, sir. Ooh, so much stuff I want to steal. Down we go. I'm assuming down. I mean, we are in like a small mountain, so I guess we could be going up. No, it's not a mountain, it's like a hill. Whoa, this is down. This is like really, really down. Where we stop, nobody knows. Hello. Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? <sighs> yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. 
Just five caps. That's not necessary. I can find my own way around. Oh, you're no fun. I'm heading out. Don't wait up for me. Halt. Again? But I need your help here. If I don't want to talk to you, I bet you're selling stuff. See. Please, you haven't needed my help in years. So whatever it is, He's it can wait. Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? You're gone more than you're here. Whatever happened to loving husband and father? Stop <laughs> nagging at me, Alexis. Just keep arguing. I'm not here. Hello? Excuse me. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? Forever! Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes our way. So, people I want to kill, number two. <clears throat> Actually, three. The Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these Maybe days. Check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. I didn't even notice. Thanks for being polite. Let me know if there's something I can get for you. I've got a little bit of everything lying around here. Do when you're you dealing know? with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Ammo. Okay, so it's mostly this sort of stuff. That makes sense. Do you have any weapons by chance? Overseer's Guardian. Shoots an additional projectile. And does a lot of damage. That actually looks really, really nice. Bit too expensive, though. Increases wearer's movement speed. Eh. That's really good, but too expensive, and that's really good. But Y4 is far too expensive, so that pretty much sums up what I want from there. Hopefully, 81 will quit her fussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. Oh, <laughs> yes, I know the feeling. Calvin. Sorry, new guy. I don't know his name. Talk right now. I'll be quick, I promise. Ha, we'll see about that. What can I do you for? So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old 81 here, she's a straight up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Um, do I have any? Sure, you got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. I feel like there just has to be something we can do down here. It's just... All of that effort to get down here, there must be something. Plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. And someone said I should go and visit that. Okay, so I need to go and visit Dr. Forsyth. Or foresight. I didn't yes. actually listen to him very well. Where, if I was a medical guy, oh, you got guts wearing that Pip Boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Believe it or not, many have. So where would I be if I was a medic pl person in this place? Ooh, this looks sneaky. And then there's going to be absolutely nothing to steal. Really, the first place that's really easy to to steal stuff. Yep, take that. Five bobby pins. Yeah, I'm just f thief mastermind. Hybridization. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. Hybridization? Oh, so it's not neither of those two. The depot is that way. So what's down here then? We have residential, lavatory, food. It's weird to see. It's weird to see a working vault. Is that your pit boy? Well, better be. Food again. You're Human. Commonwealth traveler, aren't you? Humans. Dog picture. Fake human. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? 
I'm gonna be mean. I might for some caps. All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does fifty caps sound? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Oh, my blood! I thought you meant like the blood packs I'm taking around. Do I have to sit there? Do I? Yeah, I'll I'll be out there if I were you. I don't like needles. This will only take a sec. Nope. <laughs> nope. There. There we are. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. What for? Hello, Dr. Forsyth. I hope we have enough gauze. Nope. Okay. I want to take everything. You have so many functioning things. And drugs, and blood, and more blood. Why do you have so much blood in this place? Well, I guess with such a small community, I bet making them all donate blood is not exactly difficult. Unlike in real life. Where that wanderer from the Commonwealth? I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Great. Let's take a look. I like how she just sells just regular drugs as well. That's fantastic. Actually, I don't really need anything right now. Let's go and find someone else to help. I did hear random people telling me, Oh, you should go and visit X name, because he wants to do something. <laughs> kids. Room, I suppose. This looks much nicer than the vault in Fallout 3. Much less obviously a vault. A Still obviously a vault, but less so. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment's an adventure out there. Oh my, I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Would you be willing to talk to my class? Um... I suppose I can tell them a few. I won't let them take up too much of your time. I'm only accepting this because I have a bizarre feeling we can tell them some really horrible stuff. Hello, Katie. The children will be very excited to hear about the Commonwealth. Wasn't the quest just to talk to Katie? Okay, talking. This will be a rare treat for the kids. Should I wait? Oh, I wanted to be able to sit down on the seats. Do I, I guess I just have to wait for a while then. Katie. This will be a rare day indeed. Just hope the kids behave. Okay, well, whilst you sit there talking to yourself, let's see if we can find anyone else to help. Well, I waited a while, so here we go. What topics should I avoid? Nothing with excessive violence. And I'm sure they'll have lots of questions. But they all have excessive violence. I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children, I think you're more excited, children, honestly, love. We have a guest today, who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? How do you know about Deathclaws? I hear stuff. Gran heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. I did. With nothing more than a pistol and three bullets. Really? Not really. My dad says mole rats are just nuisances. Well, they pretty much are. Uh, hurt by riders, killed riders barehandedly. Riders trapped Preston. Ooh. A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Um. Preston was scared. Preston showed me no, where to find power some armor. power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. Has the vault ever had problems with raiders? They don't bother us. They can't get in if we don't want them to. I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. And the pistol with three shots, remember? One shot in each eye and one in the forehead took care of that death claw. Wow. You must be a good shot. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Yes, gifts. Here. 
Ooh, not bad at all. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% more damage. Not bad. Thank you, Gaiti. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. You must be that new traveler, Gwen Leggy. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Yeah, I imagine we break up your routine a little bit. And a welcome break it is. If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Let's see what you got. Something's bound to sound good. Just food. Ooh, purified water, however. No, just basic food, okay. We continue the hunt for something to do. Strong cellular plant structure. Yes, quite. Hey. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Ah, you'll do perfectly. Yay! I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. What? Why? It's a new strain of mute fruit that I just developed. It should be nutritious and remove radiation. It's for science! Well, if it's for science... Dr. Pensky. Good, you're back. I assume you're willing to sample the fruit? Uh, why don't you just tell me about yourself? Me? I'm the vault biologist and hydroponic gardener. Everything you see here, I grew, including this new fruit I just developed. But I need someone to test it. Sure I can't talk you into trying it? Nah, what the hell. I'll try it. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm, now where'd I put that Geiger counter? Well, I'm a little bit irradiated, so what's the worst that can happen? Didn't really remove any radiation. Excuse me, Dr. Pensky. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? <laughs> Needs improvement. It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the Overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. That's actually pretty good for me, because I keep finding fertilizer, and honestly, it's not really that worth it. It's just yeah. for, for scrapping, anyway. Wow. Overseer, is it? Yep, that's you. So you're the reason that is there anything else to do? Well, that's a little bit annoying. It turns out that the Overseer's terminal is a little bit too advanced for my hacking skills, meaning that I can't get access to it. It's also a good chance that this opens the door at the very start, so that's one secret that's going to remain secret until I level and almost definitely come back. But for now, I'll get back to looting stuff. Hmm... I wonder if that can open the door. Sadly, it turns out that that key card does not open the door. However, there is something else a lot more interesting to find in Vault 81, which we'll get onto next time. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Fallout 4 is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Next time... We're going to find that cat.